Hi, I'm Pedro Rouge, and CEO of Advanced Cyclone Systems. So welcome to this session of Optimized Cyclones for Particle Separation at High Temperature, a process which is very common in thermal decomposition processes. So here is ACS, ACS at a glance. ACS was established in May 2008 by Professor Humwald Salcedo and myself with the support of the CoHiTech program, backed up by Armilar Venture Partners. So we have 18 employees between Portugal and Brazil and have over 250 installations in 35 countries for gas solid separation. So what has enabled us to reach these clients is a unique scientific knowledge in cyclone design optimization and particle agglomeration model, the PASIC, in close contact with the engineering faculty of Porto. So in short, uh, we can say that we have a business model based on a clearly differentiated market position, accurate efficiency prediction capabilities, which allow us to give a validated first time installation. So we are not trying out cyclones. We really go forward because we have a model that can anticipate the results. So I, as I will explain, we are also introducing standardized solutions to meet a wide range of client industry applications. ACS footprint is quite dispersed all around the world, which is the consequence of many clients contacting us to solve separation problem. ACS works directly with clients, but also with representatives, except for Brazil, where we have a local company to supply the internal market. So installations are divided in two main areas. So emissions control, so compliance with emission limits or reducing the amount of dust carried over to downstream processes, and also powder recovery, where the aim is really to maximize the recovery of valuable powder itself. So for emissions control, which brings us to RWM, we have worked with many industrial customers needing energy supplied by waste biomass boilers in the form of heat or steam for their processes. This is also the case of the wood panel board, but also many other industries from food and drinks to textiles. So more recently and more often, we have increased our sales numbers for boiler manufacturers and broad solution providers, such as Mazuki, Sujimat, or Valmet, uh, which is very strong in pulp and paper, and of course, in uh, waste to energy. So high temperature processes involving incineration, gasification, and pyrolysis have become more and more frequent. So as we will see in several examples, we have supplied cyclones to remove dust from fumes of a regenerator of activated carbon for John Cockerell in Belgium. For a Swiss customer cyclones, we supply for meat and bone gasification at 850 degrees. And, and for Fricks, for example, in, German, in Denmark, cyclones are used for biochar recovery from straw biomass. So CO2 sequestering where one kilogram of straw actually turns into three kilograms of CO2 in the form of biochar fertilizer. So many interesting uh, new, new applications where cyclones actually can uh, be a very relevant piece. So regarding of, of our business model is actually quite simple. We do our own R&D with a strong link to the engineering faculty of Porto and offer recruiting from there. So we design and engineer the systems in-house producing fabrication drawings to partner manufacturers based either in Portugal, in Southeast Asia, or in Brazil. And in any case, with the sole exception of a partner in Indonesia, we always deliver the final uh, product to our clients. So we also always deliver out the cyclones to our clients. So depending on the product, location, and type of client, either an ACS reseller or a broad solution provider or a final client, which vary in size and capabilities, we either fully rely on a third party for installation and supervision or deal ourselves with it. So maintenance and, and fine tuning is always done by the user of the system, giving it its simplicity and low cost. So the systems after installed usually can be very well handled by the final clients. So why cyclones? Yeah, well, going into emissions control, very usual sources of PM emissions for ACS are thermal decomposition processes, including combustion, incineration, gasification, and pyrolysis used for the most varied purposes. Invariably, there are needs of PM separation at high temperature, either to avoid particles to be carried over with results, which results in several benefits, including, for example, the reduction 
of tar precipitation around nuclei of particles, or to maximize collection of carbon built products, which is more and more demanding. So then we also have work with dryers, typically rotary dryers, but other sorts of dryers, which are widely used for pellet manufacturing, particle board and others such as beverages and oils. To control PM emissions, the incumbent uh, technologies are in fact either inefficient or expensive. So traditional multi-cycles are very simple, have low investment and low OPEX. However, the very low efficiency and the difficulty from manufacturers to give guarantees restricts their application. Wet venturi scrubbers can be very efficient, but have, have high operating costs, mainly due to pressure drop, and also produce secondary wet pollution with associated treatment costs. And finally, well, electrofilters, they can be dry or wet, so ESPs or wet ESPs are frequently also a solution by its high efficiency and ability to work at high temperatures. However, associated with high investment costs and some restricted applicability, namely at very high temperatures and not very suitable when the recovery of powders is involved. And finally, bag filters, perhaps I would say our main competitor and the dominant solution, they are very efficient, but have frequently critical operating problems and high maintenance costs, costs at high temperature leading to fire risks, or when there is a high moisture content in the gases, it can lead to clogging of bags. So these problems have implications for the companies, not only on cost, which, which means changing filter bags and higher specific uh, personnel, but also on downtime. So actually there is a, a definitely a, 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 the need for an affordable, efficient uh, and problem-free technology in several applications. So in fact, uh, cyclones have several advantages. They are robust, they have almost no maintenance, they have no pressure problems, no moving parts. They work on a dry basis and they have no temperature restrictions once you have the correct material and they have also no filters. Uh, this has resulted actually in a wide industrial application for these devices. However, regular cyclones are not efficient enough for particles below 10 microns. Uh, and this is a problem given the stricter emission limits and also requirements uh, for collection of powder in place today. So let's look then at our technology. So how do we improve cyclone efficiency? So in fact, uh, it is very difficult to model the separation dynamics in cyclones. And cyclones are usually uh, designed empirically or less often according to models that do not consider the particle particle interaction inside the cyclone. So therefore, ACS has developed its own unique model for cyclone efficiency estimation that takes into account this agglomeration, this clustering effect in turbulent flow fields, uh, the so-called PASIC. So actually we can rapidly generate, based on this knowledge, millions of virtual prototypes and through numerical optimization, select the best geometry for each given cyclone application. This is what we call OSIC. And this takes into account several economical and operational constraints, such as size, pressure loss, and also manufacturing costs. Finally, we can also increase the cyclone efficiency by a unique patented recirculation system using pure mechanical or electrostatic recirculation. So this can always be done further after we uh, optimize uh, the cyclone. So in many hundreds of cases we have come across, we have dealt with very different particle size distributions, the so-called PSDs, uh, uh, that go from very fine one micron median size uh, PSDs to very coarse ones uh, above 100 microns. So very distinct uh, uh, operating conditions. Um, there is also a wide range of uh, other operating conditions such as temperature, concentration, flow rate, etc., and also types of products, porous or not, to more or less tendency to agglomerate. Uh, this makes actually uh, very, very difficult or even impossible to have a single cyclone geometry to effectively deal with all cases. 
Our research team has been investigating particle agglomerations since its foundation. And actually this knowledge has helped ACS build very accurate models of efficiency prediction capable of explaining why sub-micrometer particles are often captured with much higher efficiency than expected. So indeed, particles tend to form bigger agglomerates, so clusters, much easier to collect than the original particles. As we will see, agglomeration increases with long residence times in the cyclone, in the presence of wide particle size distributions, and also with high inlet particle concentrations. So this knowledge has been incorporated in ACS numerical optimization tool in combining sophisticated stochastic algorithm with classical numerical uh, model to predict cyclone performance. Let's say take residence time. Uh, here we can see what happens to below one micron particles with increasing the residence time from, from one millisecond to 100 millisecond. You see that there's the heavy increase in efficiency for, for very fine particulates. Similar pattern in increase in efficiency of fine particulates can be seen when we increase the target diameter of the larger particles in this distribution from four to six to eight micron. And these larger particles uh, serve as a better nuclei for agglomeration. So the larger the particle, the more finer particles can actually cluster with these larger particles and being collected. And again, we see the increase in efficiency of fine particles when increasing concentration from seven milligram per normal cubic meter to 700 milligram and then to 70 gram per normal cubic meter. So a higher concentration means higher agglomeration of, and, or opportunities for the particles to collide. For any given new case, and given all the inputs we tell the algorithm, it will calculate collisions and should there be agglomeration, it will recalculate trajectories and velocities uh, all over again uh, until particles either collect or escape the cycle. So this is dramatically important to, well, predict better what uh, happens. And as you, as you can see here, there is a very good agreement between the experimental results uh, shown in the black dots and the model we have in red. So this is very different from the classical prediction models, which neglect particle interaction and thereby consider almost zero collection when you go for very, very fine particulates. This is also shown in, in these two examples with a very good agreement of the model here in the, in, the, in the curves in blue and black and the experimental results that you see there. So thanks to this PASIC model and the way we can better understand what is, what is really happening inside the cyclone and considering several economical and operational constraints such as size and pressure loss, we can then simulate many, many cyclones, millions of virtual prototypes with this numerical optimization tool within an affordable period. So an empirical model based on experimentation would completely be impossible to fulfill as thousands and thousands of prototypes would have to be built, let's say, to understand the phenomenon. So we can do that much easier, much simpler, and much quicker. So considering this approach as the best path to obtain truly optimized cyclones, so, so sound theories of cyclone collection and pressure uh, loss can be chosen for each process application. And so although this process can be done over and over again, this numerical optimization problems gave rise to several families of cyclones, some of which we patented. Uh, and indeed, different industrial cases have different needs for which the optimization functions to incorporate in the PASIC model can be as complex as minimizing cost or space subject, subject to a, a minimum efficiency result. So these cyclones families, as we will show, always subject to further customization, uh, are the result of very different client demands ACS has come uh, across until now. So the group in green are the pre-separators, so what we call pre-separators, which target dust reduction at the lowest cost and space, even for very large flow rates. So they are ideal to reduce sparks, silica, 
uh, and, dust, and dust load in boilers, dryers, and, and furnaces, and also incinerators. Then we have cost efficient final stage cycling, so numerical optimized high efficiency cycling with emissions down to those of regular multi cycling. Uh, so moderately strict emission limits can be attained with these cycles and cut off even the emissions of other multi cycles And finally, we have high-end agglomerator cycles for to exempt even back filters and ESPs in complying with very, very strict emission limits down to 30 milligram in order to maximize recovery of valuable powder. So either we go for a very, very fine emission limits or when the powder is very, very uh, expensive, uh, these cyclones are ideal to maximize that recovery. So now let us uh, look closer at, at, at real, real cases we have done uh, and uh, in a, let's say, wide application range. So looking at our first case study, here, here our client was Sonai Industria, one of the largest wood-based panel producers in the world. So the company actually was forced to use natural, a natural gas hot generator for drying fiber, despite having the necessary amount of thermal energy available in the exhaust stream. So 230,000 cubic meter per hour of a wood waste thermal oil heater. So the problem was of using the biomass thermal oil heater laid on the emission of fine burnt and burnt particulates, which was being carried over uh, with the dry fiber and final, finally deposited in the final product, so the wood panel boards. So these boards were systematically rejected by quality inspections. So my final client, IKEA, didn't accept any black spots on the board, neither too much silica content. So we had the challenge of solving this problem and to enable the use of the existing thermal oil heater. The system to be designed would have to cope with two distinctive operating conditions, due to very different moisture content of the, bio, of the biomass in the summer and winter. So our solution consisted of 10 batteries of six cyclones with about 800 millimeter in diameter downstream of the original multi-cyclones and before the dryer of the plant. You can see the system being placed over this, actually this road passing there uh, since there was actually no extra space. Uh, the solution allowed Sonai to use biomass of a lower quality and higher moisture and still be under the threshold. So we verified inlet conditions to be around seven and 750 milligram per normal cubic meter, again, escaping the existing multi-cyclone and still be under the imposed limit. So the cyclone's added value can be calculated by the savings per year in natural gas consumption to heat the drying gas of the process. However, offset by forestry biomass consumption and by the extra power needed uh, to overcome the pressure drop of the system. Still, that amounted to about half a million euros per year in savings. So another system that we have installed, this project uh, we did in a biomass thermoelectric power plant in Portugal uh, called Central Biomassa Terras Santa Maria. So this plant produces electricity from forestry biomass residues. Uh, all electricity produced in the plant is exported to the utility grid system. The electrical power of the biomass is about 10 megawatts electric, enough to serve about 20,000 households. So the plant was facing several operating problems due to malfunctioning of the system uh, the system multi-cyclone before an ESP, and actually it was suffering very heavy wear due to the abrasion caused by aggressive fly ash from the boiler, and therefore it needed to be replaced very often. So in addition, the multi-cyclone was operating with very high pressure drop, overloading the ID fan and representing very high energy costs. Also, the low efficiency was causing a large amount of particles to be dragged into the ESP, and consequently, the, its maintenance and operating costs were much higher than forecasted and lifetime was being reduced. After analyzing all data, we proposed two hurricane type S, so the SD type cyclones, very compact cyclones, to replace these multi cycles. Our target <laughs> was not only to reduce the inlet concentration into the ESP, but also to prevent premature wear of every equipment. The SD cyclones were lined with ceramic-based cement, 
thereby reducing maintenance to near zero. So in this case, the whole installation was done by us. Actually, it was very main demanding due to the very short time frame the client has to complete the project. So the results actually have been big success. The Hurricane ST cyclones proved to match or even exceed expectations of the existing multi-cyclones as they provide a lower pressure drop than these multi-cyclones and almost zero maintenance alongside with the higher capture rates of dust. So ID fan works now with much lower power consumption for the same conditions. And also the SB downstream operates with a lower inlet concentration, so less wear, longer lifetime, and also lower emissions to the stack. So another system we have supplied for a Swiss client, uh, this is another type of cyclone, a TX type hurricane cyclone for high efficiency per particulate matter separation immediately after meat and bone meal gasifier. So these cyclones are provided with refractory steel, very special installations to fulfill all requirements. So this is an ongoing project uh, where the, 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 what the driver of, of the client to buy the cyclones is also the, our experience in high temperature, but also the efficiency we got. Uh, another example for John Cockerill, this is also being supplied very recently. So this is a TX type cyclone for high efficiency activated carbon recovery in a pyrolysis process. So the, the objective is to re recover activated carbon with very high efficiency. In this case, more than 80% for a very, very fine dust at very high temperature from the off cases of a regenerated furnace and before post combustion. So by pyrolysis and burning off adsorbed organic substances carbon ignition is avoided, even if heated up to 800 degree in a controlled atmosphere. So this is a very widely used process all around the world where actually there is this need to recover this high valuable powder, which is well, a carbon-based uh, product. Finally, we can also add value in, in several MSW and RDF incineration plants. We are targeting the use of efficient cyclones after the incinerator to reduce the production of hazardous dust. So in the scheme below, you can see there, uh, you can check the concept we are studying with a client which already uses regular cyclones for the purpose. But if we reduce the amount of, gas, uh, of dust that is carried over to the spray absorber that you have there uh, and collected afterwards in the back filter, millions can be saved in landfill disposal costs uh, with ash uh, pre-separation. And why? Well, because the dust in contact with hydrated lime, uh, uh, um, which is injection, injected in the spray absorber, uh, which increases actually the pH over the limit, which triggers the recognition uh, of, the, of the dust as hazardous, this will be highly reduced. So actually what we have there is a fraction a much higher fraction in, the, in this point of the cyclone and a lower fraction in the back house, which is considered as hazardous. So here we calculate the savings per year in using an ACS cyclone, even after considering the cost related with the extra pressure drop of using, of course, the cyclone. And the fact that we have about 80% of the dust collected before the spray absorber heavily reduces the amount of dust captured in the back filter, which is then considered hazardous due to the injection of these chemicals. So actually in this example, 1.35 million euros can be served, uh, saved annually, not even counting with the savings uh, um, that we have in the bags uh, of the filter. So, well, these were some of the, of the examples we are studying, uh, studying what actually implementing with our, with our uh, cyclones. And I hope this can relate with some of your process you have uh, at your plant. Thank you very much for your attention.